Hey everyone, it's Johnny from WP Johnny, and right now I'm going to show you, I think this will be the last video series of my Gutenberg tutorial series, and it's going to be how to do animations in Gutenberg. So this is a feature request by many users who are converting over to Gutenberg from their traditional page builders. So the traditional page builders like Divi and Elementor, they're just like hundreds of animations flying, bouncing, jumping, growing, shrinking and all that and people feel like they're missing out if they don't have the option to add bloated animations but it can be done Gutenberg most Gutenberg plugins don't have it like they don't have very many options if at all but you can get it done in a few different ways so let me show you the easiest way we'll start off there is to have a block a Gutenberg block plugin that allows you to have animations so here I'm using Kyokin blocks and here you go down there's an animator and I don't know I just kind of messed around and then you can see here I'll reload the front end and there you go okay I, I don't know that's kind of cheesy for me that doesn't really do much let's add the um, let's use one by stackable stackable has a really cool uh, some really cool ones and where's the Gutenberg block option oh, come on where's it all right, I'm just gonna do this right now. And let's pick a uh, feature grid, cool. And then of this feature grid, there should be, oh, I'm gonna go to the block options. Select the block, select the whole, yeah, there you go. I want the whole thing. And let's scroll down and where is the, I think it's in the stack. Oh, okay, there you go, effects. So if you hover over it, um, there you go, it lifts. So that's just like very, very simple like CSS animation. And let's go to the front end. And there you go, very simple, right? It didn't like slide in like once you scroll down. Stackable will have uh, more animations later and I'm sure with, like within months or pretty soon it's gonna be able to rival the, all the same animation libraries that existing page builders have. Um, let's check out another way to do it and this would be applying manual CSS animations through custom CSS class so this is what I'm gonna do you can go around and look for different uh, CSS animation code so let's say square to circle let's do uh, rotate so this one rotates on hover okay and here let's just copy this and we put it inside our theme customizer we put it in inside our, oh boy I can't see it because my face is in the way there you go let's just move my face Here we are and let's paste it in and I'm not gonna call it rotate hover I'm actually gonna call it um, uh, WPJ rotate right just give it a custom name so that it doesn't conflict with anything else and that will be the class selector and I'm going to go down to this block here and oh it's probably in the advanced there you go custom CSS uh, oh I could have applied it here as well but I actually just want to do this so for any block that I want to have this feature I simply paste in the custom CSS class and then let's see what happens on the front end oh there's a fly flying around here there you go <laughs> so when I hover it does that um, and then you know if I go down here to like there's there's more intricate codes out there that you'll find like for example this swing one is crazy uh, and you'll see like where like for example this one you see has the ease in where like one second so you can change the timing and all that so so for people who don't know how to write their own CSS just dig around for different CSS libraries effects transitions hovers and you can put it that way right just apply it that way there is another way as well, which is to install the Animate It plugin. Okay, that's the plugin. I've already installed it. And how you use it, uh, there's many different ways, but you can just go here and, gener and use the class generator. So let's say, uh, okay, what do I want it to do? Do I want it to spin and for how long? Half a second? Does it keep going? No. Does it delay or does it wait? So I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I'll just pick the spin, or how about this? Uh, let's pick the bounce one. Now, you know what, something more annoying. Rubber band. 
Okay, I hit generate, boom, there you go. And then I simply go to here and paste it in. Remember, I have that plugin enabled already, okay? So I'm just gonna paste it in here and then let's just see what happens. Will it do it? There it is, it did it. Okay, now I'm gonna have it, uh, I'm gonna try and change it to something not so fast. So let's just do two seconds. There you go, rubber band duration four. Okay, so I can I can remember that and put it in my cell. Da, da, da. There you go, right? So that's the effect. Um, now lastly, there were people who were asking me how to do parallax. So right now, parallax that I know of, you can do the parallax effect with cadence blocks and you can do it in this manner. Um, I'm, I'm not even gonna go through it and do it right now. I'm just gonna show you. Somebody already made it with a site. Somebody did it already. So here you do the live demo and they were using cadence blocks to do it. And here you go, here you go. So you can see it's moving at different speeds and then if you apply it to, you know, put a whole bunch of items on there, you'll get the effect you want. So Gutenberg is not so great in animations right now. I personally think that's a good thing. I think people are making their sites way too bloated with non-essential things. And if you look at most professional, like million dollar websites out there, none of them are doing the annoying stuff, right? Everybody wants to get straight to the meat of your website, get straight to the content. I hope you enjoyed this Gutenberg tutorial series and I hope it shows you how you really can use Gutenberg to replace most, if not all, of your page builder functions and features and design stuff. Thanks for watching and if you have any special requests, leave it in the comments. Uh, don't forget to check out this will be the written post and it will be published on my site. See you guys next time.